welcome to the Nerdy Fitness Vlog. I am your host, Pablo Gene, and I'm going to be talking about nerdy stuff, fitness stuff, nerdy fitness stuff, all these types of things. So, yeah, like workouts, on my workouts that I did for the week, the food I ate throughout the week, good and bad, all of it, completely honest. Uh, and then, uh, what's it, music, you know, like music, workout music, um, you know, video games, anime shows, you know, whatever I checked out and stuff like that for the week. So I'm going to jump into it workout wise. Okay. So for workouts, I did, uh, what did I do? Okay. So I did something different this time. Okay. So on Monday I did X training, X men training, I call it, which is the yoga and then the, um, punching and kicking, um, upper body cardio. And so I did that and I had plenty of time, so I did like a full minute for like each side, I think, or something. But uh, anyways, like that was a real solid workout. I, I wanted to do legs this week because last week I did arms three times, I think. So I was like, ah, oh, that seems a little excessive for arms. I think I'm gonna do that for legs instead. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to do that for legs. So that's what I did. So for my, for my first workout, like I said, X-Men training, uh, you know, and then my second workout, I did legs and then, and every time that I do a workout, whether it's arms or legs, I try to step up the weight in dumbbells. Like I use dumbbells is what I've been doing for the workouts. And I step it up by adding like five pounds each time, essentially. So like if it's, I started with 10 and then went 15 and then 20 and then 25 and then 30 and like 30 has been like my cap. So, and I've reached that, like I can't really do much more than 30 and certain workouts they require that I can't even do more than 15, uh, depending on what it is. Um, so anyways, so, and then the next time I did, uh, I did Avengers abs and then I did arms in the morning. I did, you know, for my second workout. Then uh, for day three, for my first workout, I did captain's cardio and then I did legs, which I thought was gonna be really bad because of the fact that just like, hey, you know, hardcore cardio and then legs does not seem like that good of an idea back to back. Um, which I will say this, I don't know if it had anything to do with it, but I was really struggling holding the weights up, but I think that was for my arms workout that I got and like my, I could not hold up the, I could not hold up the weights. And that was the thing is I was trying to do, I think I was doing holding up 25s for my legs workouts, you know, for like, I was doing lunges and stuff like that and doing calf raises. And it was very difficult to keep those throughout the whole workout, uh, the whole time. It was tough. I had to step down actually and wait and go down to 20. And then I think for some stuff, even down to 15, just cause it was like, it was too much weight. So, yeah um and uh so yeah so that's that's what i did and then on uh my fourth day i actually i came in i went in early to work to work uh four hours early uh for overtime and so i didn't do a workout i was gonna do a workout but i was really freaking tired because i had only gotten a few hours of sleep that day and then uh and then i and then the next post I went to, I had a lot of comics to read as well. So uh, I, was, I just did not have time either because I was like, oh, okay, I need to finish, finish these comics. So, um, and then, so I, and then in the morning there was a situation with my wife. So I left, I didn't go to my, do my arms workout that morning. And I went straight to, I went straight home. Um, and then I, I, because I went to bed early, because I left early and went to bed early, I was like, all right, I woke up early, not on purpose, just I just woke up early. I was like, all right, well, I have plenty of time to go to get both of those knockouts, those workouts knocked out, the ones that I should have done on day four, which is uh, abs and as guardian arms, which I just flipped it around and did as guardian arms first and then abs. And so I had just enough time to do both uh, back to back. So that's what I did. And then this morning I just got off and I did legs and I will say I did a little more relaxed, but I used barbells instead of using dumbbells, which did help quite a bit because on my shoulder. But then again, that it, it freaking hurts my, 
my neck spine over here too because I it holds right there uh, like if when I'm doing lunges or squats or whatever um, but then I was like screw it why am I doing this I'll just use the regular squat you know bar and stuff like that I, I'm like I'm an idiot so uh, so that's what I did and uh, you know they had the they had the pad there which as some call uh, the bitch pad but I have no problem I have no problem with that in fact I don't see uh, bitch as a derogatory term I don't use it that way at least because the way I see it is bitches get shit done so you know I'm there to get stuff done and I can pump out more if my freaking neck and spine isn't killing me so safety first folks okay um, anyways so yeah so that's what I did uh, it was a good workout and then next week what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pairing up with different people that I work with and finding out what workouts they do like on machines or just period and what those things work out because even though I am I've been working out I don't really know like what works what and like specific categories and what's best for what you know and there's a lot of guys that are pretty hardcore about it there so I'm that's what I'm gonna start doing is I'm I'm gonna start breaking it down into you know chest and try um, you know buys and I don't know what goes with buys but I'm just gonna say forearms I don't know um, and then like shoulders and back and like you know um i don't know like uh different legs workouts you know like i don't know i know there's different ones there's different machines and stuff so that focus on different things um you know so that's that's what that's what i'll be doing too you know so every other day it's going to be like legs and then every other day it's going to be an arms workout a specific you know body you know like i said paired one and so that's what I'm going to do. But I to learn those things, I, I know some, but I don't know as much as I could. Uh, and so that's what I want to learn. I want to learn from other people that I work out with, as well as create this rapport with people that I work with, you know, by working out with, with them. It's be like a bonding experience, you know. So that's what I'll be doing. And then also I want to get a gym membership at Define Fitness because I'm going to be going to swing. So I'll have time to go to Define Fitness during the day. And I want to start swimming. Uh, and get like that Aquaman build. I want to see if you can actually get, you know, somewhat, not a Jason Momoa build, because I'm not Samoan or whatever he is. I'm not going to get jacked like that uh, the way he is. There's no way. That's just pure genetics. I mean, yeah, he's been working like his whole life, working out to get bigger, but at the same time, like, he's, you know, he was a bigger dude, you know. I'm a skinny little twig. And uh, so... Anyways, so the um, so that's what I want to do. That and I also like the the Justice League movies coming out in November, and I really want to get an Aquaman tattoo, like the A symbol right there, um, because I, I've always loved Aquaman. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters, comic book characters, and um, so I want to get that symbol. But I want to earn it. My way of earning it is I want to do enough laps that is a mile, like a distance for a mile, and so that's what I want to do. To earn it and I want to do that before the movie comes out because I think everyone's gonna be obsessed with Jason Momoa and, and Aquaman after that comes out so I want to do that before people are all obsessed with him you know and be like oh, I'm gonna get an Aquaman tattoo because he's awesome and it's like no you just like Jason Momoa okay uh, get a Jason Momoa tattoo so anyways uh, so yeah so that's what I'll be doing then any uh, so as far as food goes so for food um, I don't remember what I ate. Oh yeah, actually I do remember what I ate on the way. It was International Taco Day, or yeah, International Taco Day, and it was a Tuesday, so I was like, all right, I gotta get tacos. Well, screw Taco Bell. And I don't know about Del Taco, but Del Taco, I don't really, I don't know if they're any good or not, but there wasn't a Del Taco near me on the way to work, so I was like, all right, screw it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to Jack in the Box, get a couple tacos. They were actually pretty good. I was surprised, they were pretty good. And they are pretty cheap too. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more. So I had to do it. I had to. I know it's bad, but you know, I, it didn't make me feel that bad, honestly. Uh, so I did that, and then after that, I, well, I, I, you know, I did my workout and stuff like that. It was a hardcore workout. I was, I was pretty hungry, but I held off eating. I, I think I had like a, a cheese stick or something. I don't know, you know. But uh, what I had that night is the wife. She gave me like half of a Five Guys cheeseburger. Uh, before I left the house, so I actually had to wait for it, but whatever. 
Uh, so that's what I had. And then I also had a, um, I think I had, you know, just like the, the yogurt, the, the organic gogurt tube or whatever at, uh, you know, in the morning and stuff. Like I really wasn't, you know, didn't overdo it too much. And then, you know, just my usual that I'd snack on on the way home. You know, I got my snack pack, I got my naranjo, my orange, you know, and, and, and whatever. So, so that's pretty much what I did uh, for food, you know, like after on the way home and stuff like that. Um, and then for other food, like, oh yeah, so like, I think, yeah, my, the next night I had spaghetti, so that's what I had for my main thing, and that caught, kept me full for most of the night, and then on my third night, I did, I, the wife got me a calzone when she went out to go eat with a friend, so I ate that, and, and, uh, that kind of sucked though, because like I, I ate it Well, I was really hungry, but I ate it right away. And then I couldn't eat again for like another, like five to six hours. Same thing with drinking just because of the post that I was at. So like, I really hate it. Um, but, and then, uh, and then another night they had, uh, like the next night they had some, they, you know, like they bring in food. So this guy brought in, uh, almond. No, 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 it was pecan, chicken, um, salad from Dion's, and they had the green chili, uh, they had the green chili, whatchamacallit, um, ranch dressing. It was really good. Uh, it was pretty fantastic. That was really delicious. And then last night, I'll be honest, like, I ate complete garbage because I ran out of food, I, uh, to make and stuff. I did, I did have a rice bag at one point, too. I ate one of those, um... And then, uh, and then I, I like I said, I've, I, I ran out of yogurt, my go, my gogurts, my organic gogurts or whatever. So I had to go get some actual yogurt. And so I got the, uh, I got the Noosa. I went to the organic store and they didn't have this yogurt that I used to get. So I went to Costco and got that, that yogurt and it's the Noosa yogurt and it's a pack of 18. Uh, and they're small. It's like blueberry, uh, strawberry rhubarb and lemon, uh, um, you know, like six of each one. And so, yeah, blueberries, of course, of course is the best. Uh, and then, so, so yeah, so I, I did eat like complete crap because the guy that brought in food, I ran out of food. So I just took what was ever in the fridge, which was, uh, chimichanga from Allsup's. I didn't get it. My wife got it. And then some wiener, like poppers. They're like, you know, the, the fried, uh, you know, they're like mini corn dogs essentially from wiener schnitzel and i got those for her but she didn't take them so i was like all right fine i'll eat them so they don't go bad so i took them to work and then this guy for food that he brought he got buffalo i think it's like spicy buffalo chicken uh sandwich so i had that and i had a chimichanga and i had uh and then i had the 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 mini corn dogs on my way home so like i said i did eat crap uh that whole fr because i didn't have anything else to eat um, and yeah, so, and now I'm going to go record with, uh, Tone Bone, probably for a 3 a.m. reviews. Um, but when I get back, I'll talk about music and, you know, comics and whatever else. So, and shows. All right, so I am back to talk about music. So, music where I've been listening to for my workouts, during my workouts, on my way home, on my way to work. I've been listening to, obviously, uh, as people know, uh, Tom Petty died, so um, I'm like, okay, I have had the ex, I've had, I think I bought, I have the greatest hits or whatever, um, the essential or I don't know, one of those. And so I have that, so I have the greatest hits. I used to listen to it when I was in the Navy. Uh, well, not, when, yeah, when I was stationed out in Jacksonville, Florida, when I was in the Navy and I used to drive around listening to that, driving up and down the coast of Florida all the time. So I just, it's, my mind goes to Florida driving up and down the coast when I listen to it, so I love it. But I was like, I want to listen to more of his music. Like I said, I want to hear the albums, not just the hits. And so I've been listening to that and it's very interesting because like, wait, it's very different. It's very different. You go like, wow, okay, like there's the one hit and you're like, okay, the rest of the album's not that great. And then like, it seems like not until like the third album, that's when like he really hits his stride. 
And then even like the fourth album, I was like, oh, okay, there's only like one good song on here. Uh, you know, and then there's, like I said, there's all those songs that you're like, oh, I didn't know about this song and I really like it a lot. I've also been listening to, I listened to the secondhand serenade um, that my buddy Slay J uh, suggested. Listen to their first album. So you can tell it's their first album, but it was still pretty solid. Um, and then I also got in, into more Silverstein. Here's the thing. So like Silverstein always with me, like, because it's like, it started off as Screamo um, and then not so much later, but they do dabble, you know, like that's, it was for me, it, it's the perfect music. Like when I got to get out some anger and frustration, I just got to go like, ah, you know, uh, but I don't like, but I like also the singing, you know, I like the melodic tones. So, uh, you know, and the lyrics and everything like that. So, uh, so that's what I've been jamming out to. And I've been listening to all of their albums. It turns out I looked up more of their albums and there's all kinds of albums that I didn't even have or know that they had out. And then there was one that I had that was untitled. And then I was like, okay, that's, that's what this one is. So I've been listening to a lot of that. And, uh, and so that's been really awesome. So I, I usually listen to Silverstein when I work out and then on my way home is when I listen to Tom Petty. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing on that end. And then for shows, uh, more Kenichi, a little more Kenichi and a little more, um, Fate Zero in the background. I'm just like, yeah, it's okay. And then Kenichi is great though. It's just getting better and better as it goes on. It's getting intense. And then, but the other shows, Gifted and Inhumans. Gifted is the Fox, uh, like it's a spinoff of X-Men where like, it's this time period where like the X-Men aren't around. I don't think the Brotherhood of, of Evil Mutants or Brotherhood is, is around either. So, um, so, but there are mutants and there's, uh, you know, they have like their own version of like, you know, like the Sentinel group or whatever in the MRD or whatever. Um, and so it's really, really great. You have this brother and sister, and then you also have this other team. You have Lorna Dane, which is Polaris, which is the daughter of Magneto. I don't know if they're going to say that in the show or not. Um, and then, uh, they also have Thunderbird which is really awesome. I, I love me some Native uh, American representation, so that was really cool. And then they saw also have this guy that uh, he looks Latino, and he's kind of like the leader and stuff, and he has like laser fingers. Um, and uh, and then, like I said, this kid has powers, and then this other girl, she it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Invisible Woman, but not, you know, like she has like air bubble force fields and stuff. It's interesting. So I like it a lot. That show is top notch, like so, so good. Like from the word go, it is just top notch, high quality, good stuff, and it's superb. It's the it's the X Men show I've wanted for years, but they haven't made. Of course, it doesn't have big names, but still, it's a spin off, and I like it anyways. I love it. In fact, uh, now on the other hand, we have Marvel's Inhumans, which there has been two episodes out, and the first episode, I'm like, uh, they really nush, they really rush stuff. They should have done some character development first, and then gone on with this. Cause there's like the coup forms right away, you know, like against Black Bolt, um, Maximus. And they've said like, oh, you're just human. So I'm like, uh, d is he hiding the fact that he has powers to mind control people or, or what? Because he has mind control powers and, uh, and he's kind of, and he's crazy. He's, he's mad. Like that's why they call him Maximus the Mad. Uh, that's kind of like his inhuman abilities. He's crazy, but he can control people's minds. So, you know, it's, it's, you gotta take the good with the bad. So it's, it's a decent show. I feel like there's some good, like Medusa is real, really solid. The, I don't really care that much for the guy that plays Black Bolt. I will say uh, Ramsey Bolton, he's good, even though he's doing like an English accent. Like just, I mean, when I say, I mean American accent. I liked his English accent a lot better. I wish he had the same accent as Ramsey Bolton or similar. Uh, not the same, but different enough because I don't, he just has like an American accent and I don't like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, the rest of it, it's decent. I don't like Gorgon. I like his hooves, but I don't like his face. Like I thought he was going to look more like Gorgon. Uh, and then, uh, Triton, he looks pretty good, but I have, they show him real quick. Uh, Crystal is gorgeous. She is amazing. Like, I don't think she's that good of an actress, but she is just absolutely stunning. And uh, Medusa, even bald, like she looked pretty good. But her hair looked really, really fake and super cheesy. That's the thing is like, I like her better bald, honestly. Like not completely bald, but 
Um, yeah. I, I always kind of thought that, like, her hair just grew back really fast. I, I don't know why, um, but I did. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know. And, and that's the other thing is I don't really know that much about the Inhumans. People don't really care about the much about the Inhumans, and this show is not doing it. Even Karnak, I'm like, Karnak's interesting, but the way they're going about his character, they're not doing it well. So, yeah, it's just, and they're doing it on Hawaii. Like, it's just, it's just odd. It's just weird. It's a, it's just, it's definitely not in a good place yet. I think feel like it got better in the second episode, and it's going to get better as time goes on. Uh, but, so I, this can be one of those shows you give time. Gifted, A+, plus, you know, must watch, must see, like, you have to see, definitely for sure. Um... So yeah, I think that's it on that end. Like comics, metal, the metal tie-ins are going great. Like the the Arrow one is awesome. Now there's this comic called the, the Batman the White Knight where Joker's actually goes good. And so he's going to save the city from Batman and stuff. So it's, that's really interesting. At first it didn't really seem like they were doing anything different. And then they changed things up and I was like, okay, this sounds like something different. I don't know if it is legitimately, but to me it sounds different. Um, and then other stuff. Uh, Marvel, they, they had the um, Punisher platoon where, like, he's in, I want to say Vietnam, and that is crazy, like, him before he's the Punisher, and, like, him as uh, a lieutenant or something like that starting off. It's really, that was really good. So, yeah, good stuff. And um, I haven't really been able to play video games, but I cannot wait to download and play um, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain on... PlayStation Plus on the PS4 because I have it for the PS3, but I know it's going to look so much better and play so much better on the PlayStation 4, so I cannot wait to try that out. Hopefully this weekend I'll have time and I can do that, so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for me for now. So um, I want to know what is your favorite, what's your favorite video game? I don't know if I've asked this before, but uh, mine is Mass Effect because to me it's a combination of like James Bond um, Star Wars, Star Trek, um, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. So, yeah, so I want to know what your favorite video game is and why. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. So, uh, stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy, love and peace.